Well, hey everybody, I'm, I'm on the back deck at the OC. I just got through swimming two miles. I swam each mile for time. Of course, the second mile was uh, kind of like a <laughs> slow one, but I was uh, using the fill of the water to propel me and strictly uh, focusing on technique the whole way. But I uh, thought, thought I'd come out here on the back deck and look at the wind. It's blowing from the west, northwest, so it's not like it's blowing right down this deck here, but it's really pushing on them trees right there, and the sound is really loud. But I just wanted to make a video real quick and say, I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> There's so much that is misinformation about what's going on in the world. The only way you can get real clarity is to go within. Take a break from it. Stop watching it. Stop talking about it. Baby Jesus will be here before we know it. Then the Easter Bunny will be here. This world is not what we think it is. And life, we ain't even begun to live. Can you imagine living with your full potential? Your full mind working 100%? And that you know that you are the thing that the church will not tell you that you are, the government will not tell you that you are, and the world will not tell you what you are. But I'll tell you, you're a divine light body being inhabiting a physical form. You and I seem to be separated, but in reality, if we allow it, we're one. So, be the best being that you can be. With all of our flaws and all of our inability to wake up in this reality when we were young, we have to overlook that and realize that all that is an illusion anyway. Just like projecting the future is an illusion. If you're not projecting it with consciousness, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you unconsciously creating your future with your thoughts? When that is the only thing that we could ever control is our thinking. So I ask everybody to start rethinking everything that they think. Listen to their own self-talk. If you're not being kind and, and loving to yourself, nobody else can. But that one little simple thing, when I, I woke up August the 17th, 2003, and I realized that my mind was so still, that it had only been my thinking that had drove me mentally insane to the point of wanting to take my life. That's the way this world is set up. It's set up to keep you from knowing your true identity in Christ. And even the teaching of what Christ is is so manipulated, so controlled, so contrived. It's so simple. Yahshua ben Joseph even told us how simple it was. But by the time the Council of Nicaea came around, they took all of those books and left them totally out of what we call the Scriptures. And they corrupted every teaching of every great sage that spoke about awakening. All of it's corrupt. They want people to be powerless. 
And when you're powerless, you got no power, you can't heal your body. And if you can't heal your body, you can't have fun in time and space, which is a gift in the now. When you live in that moment of now and you're healthy, think about this. I'm a billionaire. I have billions and trillions of cells in my body that know that I am greater than the physical form that I am. Through the spoken word of the resurrected power of the I am, I speak to my atoms, my cells, and my DNA. And they awaken to their Christ nature. And they begin healing my body, regrowing tissue, organs, bones, ligaments. And I got the MRIs to prove it. <laughs> I don't think I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. The government knows as much about me as I know about myself. They've been messing with me ever since I was a child. That's a whole nother story, but I've told this story of my little friend was a genius. He was telepathic and I was telepathic. I was an empath and I helped him and he never forgot it. Never ever forgot it. In 1993, he came back to the Mississippi Delta and he said, come to my mama's house, I gotta talk to you. Now by this time, he was already, had done graduated high school at 12 years old. He went to Harvard and graduated Harvard in three years and MIT picked him up. He goes to MIT, he's barely there a year, maybe two years, and then DARPA and the CIA swoop in and get him. So in 93, he told me to my face in verbal language that cell phones were a soft kill. Now this probably get this video where it won't get no views. And you ever wonder why I'm so shadow banned? And sometimes every now and then my channel gets freed up and I get millions of views in just a short period of time. That's how come I got 20, almost 29 million views because it probably theoretically would be hundreds of millions and my subscribers would be in the hundreds of thousands. But no, they, they don't want people like me talking because a cell phone is a soft kill. 93, he said never own one. In 98, 1998, he said, come to my mama's house, I gotta talk to you. And by then he knew that probably everything he was saying was being recorded. But he told me that cell phones are not only a soft kill, but they're a hard kill. We didn't go into no explanation. They didn't want to over tell me what it, how it would be and what would happen but he gave me an outlook that would put me to this year, 2024. And he told me that things would start happening that truth would start coming forth in a form of like disclosure and these patents that have been suppressed will be start being released. So 1998, he's telling me all the way into the future of now that I had something to look forward to and he thought he had something to look forward to. But he didn't make it. He didn't make it past 2004 and they didn't even tell his mama how he died. It was top secret. So, I've been on the watch list for a very long time. He and I were able to time travel. Now, whether 
they were doing it because they had already discovered that he was a genius and they had already discovered that I could help control him by being an empath. I don't want to say I was his handler when we went on these missions together, but I, I can tell you this. I had to pull him back into reality and center because he was so damn smart. He was kind of didn't have no common sense. I'm ate up with common sense. <laughs> but I ain't got no book smarts. I can't read or write. I'm dyslexic. This calculus and this graph. I use computers. I've been using AI systems since 1995. I was one of the first people in the whole Mississippi Delta, if not the whole state of the United States, to have a computer that could read to me. And I learned how to control it and operate it. And been using computers ever since. I'm not afraid of the technology. I'm afraid of the lack of free speech. Why can't I say what I want to say? I want to say it. Damn it, if we don't have free speech to talk about these things, that's how they're going to kill us. They're going to kill us because we're ignorant to what's coming. And already here, already living amongst us, are machines. People that look just like a machine. Boy, they don't want me to talk about that. They don't want me to talk about Christ consciousness. They don't want me to talk about how this world is not what we think it is. Oh, the wind's blowing. I got to go. That's my cutoff sign. Y'all look back down there. You see it? It's blowing. Look at them red leaves. Ain't that pretty? Alright, I don't know how much of this is transmittable. I don't know how much uh, in the future will you be able to back and hear what I said. Or will you get will you get me in time and space? I'm setting my body up to be here till I'm 120 and be the same buddy you're looking at right now. Yeah, and if I wanted to make a baby, I'd make a baby. <laughs> That's how damn healthy I am. <laughs> Look, I swam two miles. I didn't have to stop. I could keep going. I could keep going all day long. I have to make myself stop. One day, one day everybody will realize that if Buddy can do it, they can do it. <laughs> Y'all have a good life. Love yourself. Remember, the only thing you can change about this reality is your thoughts. When you change the way you think, you can change your body, your mind, your health, your situations, everything. I love y'all. Keep coming back. Thank you for watching my channel. Even though I'm shadow banned and heavily throttled back, you're seeing me. Maybe one day everybody will hear what I have to say. Or do they need to? No, they don't need to know me. They need to know their Christ self. Y'all have a good one.